Chanel here for another so bit. Today we're going to talk about nap. What does that mean? You see that in the patterns, um, I have a simple pattern here and probably on every pattern, well I'm pretty sure every pattern, it says down here with or without nap. It has little stars by it. So without nap, with nap, or with or without nap. And it has these, with or without nap, it's the three stars on it. Then, by um, the width of the fabric, you'll see this one has two stars, so it means with nap. So they're showing you how to cut out the pattern if the fabric had a nap. So, what's a nap? <laughs> um, there are some fabrics out there, there's called the pile nap, which are like velvets, velveteens, um, anything with like a raised surface that um, however it's woven together, it has a raised surface and it's cut off. And um, there's, you see corduroys, um, what other oh, velvets. Then there are directional naps and those are much easier to, to find out. But um, here is an example. I've showed this before, and it's so it's kind of hard to show on videotape. So if I take a pa a fabric, let's see, I have the um, so I I have an arrow right here, and here's the selvage of the fabric. So that means the length grain right here. If you were to cut like from the waist and then down, so your length is getting cut that way. You want to follow. You want to have all your pattern pieces going the same direction. Um, like from top to bottom, you don't want to go, uh, you don't want to switch them around. And now, this is, um, see the other side of this fabric, this was cut, um, let me see, we got that arrow there, and then we have, <clears throat> I also, I always put arrows down on everything too, and this arrow here, so they're both, both of these are going down, which means these. this was actually torn this was part of the fabric. Now, if I turn this pattern piece around, I think I put arrows down here too, so now it's cut that way, you will probably see a shading difference in it. Do you see it? Uh, I don't know if the video shows it enough, but um, I think it, from what I'm seeing, it looks like it, it's showing. So what happens is, I learned this the hard way when making corduroy pants. I was—I remember I was about 13 years old and I was making all my own clothes back then. So corduroy um, tends to really do that too. Here's um, two um, arrows going down. Then if I turn one around, this corduroy may not show very much. Actually, yeah. One side is lighter um, than the other. So. What happened was I cut the front of my pants going one way down the fabric, and then the, the back side or the front side one way, and the back side I cut the other way. So they were kind of um, waist was here, and the other waist was here on the back, and they were cut um, not going the same way. So when I looked down on my pant on the side seam, the front was really dark and the back was light. So the shading changes. Um, so. When it says, um, when your pattern says with nap, that means their pattern instructions are all going one way. With or without nap means this pattern, the way they're showing you the cutting directions and the way they're giving you the yardage you need means it's being cut. It doesn't matter if it has a nap or not. Um, and it says without nap means that their pattern pieces are probably going different directions. Um, and a lot of times, lately I've been seeing patterns are always saying with nap. So they're just showing you to cut it as though it had a nap. Um, I used to see them kind of all over the place. They'll, they'll give you different yardages too because sometimes, like a pair, especially a pair of pants, you can fit, if, you, if it doesn't have a nap, you can really fit those pattern pieces into a width of fabric much easier than if it didn't have a nap because you actually need sometimes a yard more. So it really matters. That's all in the cutting directions of patterns. Now a directional nap is um, just basically a print. Like this is a music print. I think the, tr are those trumpets? I think so. <laughs> um, trumpets and music notes are all, they're going all different directions. These peace signs are going 
all different directions. Here's the selvage of the fabric. They're going front, back, front, all over. Now this fabric is um, has kitties on it. And they're all going, um, their heads are up and then down. They're not going every different way. So if you were to make a skirt out of this, be a cute skirt, <laughs> you would cut the waist up here and then the length down. You wouldn't go the other way because then your skirt would look like, let me see, did I turn that around? Your skirt would look like that and all the kitties would be going upside down. So we don't want that. <laughs> so um, I've had many students make this mistake and I actually, um, Sophie who as one of my prodigy students, it was my fault. <laughs> we cut the pants one day and then we just made the pants and then probably a couple weeks later in class we cut the top. She had owls on her um, print. She was making a jumpsuit. So the, in the pants, the owls were going in the right direction because we really paid attention. And then when we went to go cut the top, it's just two simple little pieces. We didn't pay attention to the directional map on it. And then so her owls are going backwards. So um, she still wore it and just challenged to see if people ever noticed. <laughs> it was pretty funny. So um, that's what nap is. Uh, pay attention to your fabrics when you're buying them, especially you're buying a print. Here's another fabric here. Um, I'm not sure what these are. Are these people or are they giraffes? Um, I called it the giraffe print. And they're all, that's a directional nap. They're all going in one direction down. Um, you really can't tell that it's a pattern, but you can if you go the opposite way. You can kind of see it's something. We don't know what kind of print it is, but it definitely has stripes and um, Plaids, the same thing. If you're matching them up, you have to watch where those plaids are. They're not always um, symmetrical. Sometimes they um, have a different color on the top and the bottom. And I'll do a whole sew bit on plaids and stripes too, but that's all about nap. <laughs>